today. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Facebook Live on a Wednesday evening. My name's Craig. I'm from the website mentioningles.com where you can learn English for free and also the podcast inglespodcast.com which is a weekly podcast that will help you with your English. And also it's Monica. Hello Monica. Welcome Hello. back. Well, yeah, nice to see you again. So you I too. am Monica Stoker and I'm the author of two blogs now. It's Blog para aprender inglés and this is the new blog, Blog del inglés, okay? So if you want information about English in Spanish, you'll find a lot of information. And also I would like to mention that we have two academies, one called EPI for private courses, uh, online courses over Skype or Zoom and Apprentice for companies too, okay? So what's the topic for today? Well, the topic for today, and welcome if you're just joining us um, today. We haven't got anyone here at the moment, I don't think, but we're hoping to get some people watching live. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for your time. We hope you'll find this Facebook Live interesting. We're going to speak about verbs followed by gerunds or infinitives, and we're going to test you to see if you know whether to use a gerund or an infinitive after these verbs. Now, we've spoken about this topic before, haven't we, Monica? Yes. That was... About maybe three of three weeks ago. Yeah, uh, three we weeks ago. About, yeah, we talked about a similar topic. It was more verbs followed by um, infinitive. And mm -hmm. sometimes we saw that some of them were followed by infinitives, but they could also be followed by gerunds. And that is a little bit mm, confusing, okay? So some people are coming. Uh, Jav, mm, hi, Craig and Monica. Jabob's back. Hi, Jabob. Hi, Jabob. And, and, and Graciela de Buenos Aires and Luis from Mexico. Buenos so, Aires. Uh, yes. It will be Buenas Tardes, El Lupita. Hi, Craig and Monica. Pilar from Seville. Okay. Hi, Pilar. So today we, we have this quiz because it's the, the problem with this kind of structure is that it is very difficult to know because you can only memorize it. You, there, there are no rules, really. And that is what everybody is asking us. Oh, what are the rules? Is there a rule? <laughs> well, there are some tips. There no? are some tips that we're going to give you at the end yeah. of this Facebook yeah. Live. So keep watching, mm -hmm. or if you're watching the replay, just yeah. fast forward and we'll give you some useful yeah. tips at the end that will help you. But with most verbs, you just have to learn them. It's just yeah. like learning verb tenses of irregular verbs, for example. Mm -hmm. You just have to, to learn them and try to remember them. And even students who have been studying for many, many years still make mistakes with some of these verbs. So it's not an easy area, which is why we've come back to do some more. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of questions about this because, and it's, it's a very popular topic because of that, because it's never clear <laughs> what, what can be the solution for this, just to practice. For me, it's just practicing listening and talking and this, that's the way you learn it because there's no other way really. And if you're very, very organized, you could make two columns and put mm -hmm. the infinitives in one column and the gerunds in another column or use a, an Excel sheet, for example, if you're that organized, that might help you. Hi, Rothio. She's joined us just now. Eva Luth is here and Ankle Isabel from Colombia and mm -hmm. Elizabeth also. So thank you very much for joining. Pilar, Elizabeth and Valentin. Vanessa and Katia. Okay. So let's get going. We're going to test you. How this is going to work is that we will show you a verb on the screen, and you need to write an example sentence using that verb. Now, remember, for this, you need to have two verbs together. So let's mm -hmm. look at the first one. I'll explain a little more. So your first verb is want. So mm -hmm. you could start the sentence, I want, 
and then you must use another verb. Another verb. Mm -hmm. But is that second verb a gerund or an infinitive? That's the question. So write some sentences, please, in the chat give box. Give examples, yeah, to give an example. So you want plus a verb. For example, you want to trabajar. Or you want to eh, comprar un helado. But you've given them the answer. Now they know it's want to. No, <laughs> I, no I didn't. I didn't give this. <laughs> to. So no. the, first to one, the first one. The first one is just yeah. a test, just to get you used to it. Which uh, yes. We've given you so, an easy one to start with. An easy with. word. Sindo Gallego. Okay. I want to learn Italian, Rocio. And Graciela yes. says, want to do something, right? So it's, it's followed by an infinitive. I was thinking that I wasn't giving the answer because I said it in Spanish, but it's true. If you have the root of the verb to. I want to trabajar. No, That's kind no, of... no, because there's one case where after two, where after two, there's gerund. For example, looking forward to hearing from you when okay. to the okay. that's an, that's that's okay. Duh. So there are some examples. Okay, I don't. So want here's, to an, study here's our example. I don't want to study grammar. Study grammar. So there's yeah. a negative, and the second verb is study, and you must use the infinitive mm. with want. Okay, let's go to the next one. Your next verb is admit. <laughs> Admit. What is admit in Spanish? What is it? Admitir. Admitir. Yeah. And this, um, uh, let me see. Does somebody have Maria Jose and Mary Joseph from Tarragona, Catalonia? You know. If you're just uh, joining us, if you're just joining Marta, us now, hello. you need to write yeah. admit in the chat box in yeah, a full admit, with another and verb. An yeah. Well, there's one answer, Graciela. Uh, half right. <laughs> mm, is that a verb, Graciela, or an infinitive? Is that an infinitive or, or, a, or a gerund? gerund? You've mixed the two yeah, together. You, you have to together. choose. That's why I say You're half sitting right. on the fence. You're not yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. No, but uh, Lupita, what we are asking is, Another verb after, not a sentence, just a verb. Um, uh, por ejemplo, admití eh, ir, haber ido. <laughs> no, it's more complicated. It's in, in the present tense. Um, Rocío, Rocío is the first with the correct sentence. Exactly, that's it. Rocío. Good, good job, Rocío. Good, good job. He admitted lying. Él admitió que estaba mintiendo. But in Spanish, you cannot say it that way. That's why it's complicated. Because he admitted lying is, in Spanish, would be, él admitió que mintió. It cannot be a germ. No? Él admitió que mintió. Mm -hmm. So he admitted lying. Very good. Are there any other so, examples? And more examples? Anybody? Hmm? We'll show you one of ours. Monica admitted changing the time. Okay. So I'm admit always involved in some kind of... <laughs> in some kind of mess. Uh, we were supposed uh, to record at 7, but now we're recording at 8, admit, and it's so Monica's fault, so she yeah, admitted so changing the time. To admit... Hector, again, I admitted... Oh, no, admit... Mm, Hector and Norma, no, it's... Uh, like Sindo said, I admitted having mm, gone to England. Um, so I admit be being, I admit being, not I admit to be. I admit being. No? Yeah, I admit <laughs> being a bit unhappy. So you yeah. must have a gerund after the verb admit. You must, you must go uh, with a gerund. You and cannot I mean, use an infinitive. I admit having, Hector, I admit having a new computer. Okay, having. 
I admitted um, stealing the money. I admitted breaking the glass. I admitted uh, smashing the window. Uh, Martha, the, also the, the example is not really a sentence. It's only one verb that you put after. It's difficult. I admit being tired. That's very good. That's Jesus. good, Jesus. Yep. Uh -huh. Well done. Hector, yeah. Well done. Jesus, monje. Very good. Okay, um, let's, so we move next, to the next one. Yes, of course. The next one is hope. Hope. Uh, to hope. Uh, so what do you think? Hope is followed by an, um, <laughs> Graciela, uh, they admitted having taken the money. Uh, uh, so is it followed by um, a gerund or an infinitive? What do you think? Hope, esperanza, esperar. So while you're thinking of hope, is it followed by a gerund or infinitive? And while you're writing your sentences, we've got some more examples. They admitted having taken the money. She admitted having been guilty. Very good, Miriam. Just be careful of the spelling of guilty. You forgot the L. Mm -hmm. uh, I admitted making an error. Very good, Evaluth. Mm -hmm. And we've got our first submission for, mm -hmm. for hope. Yes, yes. brilliant. Graciela, yes. well done. Mm -hmm. Hope to learn, hope to do something is an infinitive, followed by an infinitive. So yep. hope is followed by, um, I hope to see you again. <laughs> uh, that's a very common expression. I hope to travel very soon. I hope to meet you personally one day. Very good. Yeah, me too. I hope uh, to meet you personally. Here's <laughs> another example on the screen. We were hoping to avoid traffic. Now here, the first verb, hope, is in with ing because mm -hmm. it's past continuous mm -hmm. but we were hoping to do something so you always have that infinitive after hope mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter how you construct the verb tense which verb tense you have so norma says i hope getting good grades i hope no i hope to get good grades and that's one thing to... with with hope, it kind of speaks to the future, doesn't it? Mm. If you hope something, you're looking forward in time. You're mm. not looking back. So most verbs that do that have the infinitive. I hope to see you soon. I intend yeah. to go on holiday. I plan to study tomorrow. So hope, plan, intend, all those verbs that are future referenced usually have a gerund. Sindo also, I hope to pass, not passing. Um, Sindo, I hope to pass, yeah. Okay, I hope to, Lupita is okay, uh, Jesus is okay, I hope to be there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Infinitive, not gerund. Hope, Sindo, infinitive. I hope to pass my C1 level exam. Mm -hmm. Are you hoping uh, to do anything special tomorrow? Not really. Tomorrow is just Thursday, not the weekend. It's uh, nearly the... Well, the... well but there's a, yeah, there's a long holiday. And are you doing anything special? Yes, I'm hoping to visit my sister. My sister lives uh, two hours or an hour and a half drive from Valencia. So I'm hoping to drive down to see her in the morning and stay for a couple of days and um, come back for... Uh -huh for sunday and, probably and it's going to be probably good weather and so can well, you still i'm you know? not sure i think on on saturday it might rain so um i hope we don't have rain on saturday <laughs> but um can you still swim in in valencia um well it's a bit chilly <laughs> i i think the water's a bit cold now but um there are fewer tourists, so it's a, it's a good time. If it's a really sunny, hot day, hot sunny day, then yes, it's a good idea. But I I don't usually swim in the sea. Mm. Okay. So more examples. I think we uh, – I hope you're well. Yeah, well, it's okay. But it's with the verb to be, which is another structure. Yeah. Um, when when I can, can I use, use hoping? hoping? When oh. when you're when you're conjugating the verb and ing I verb, so it will be present continuous. For example, I'm hoping to see you tomorrow. 
Mm. I'm hoping to pass the exam. I was hoping to take the exam three months ago. Okay, so you use hoping when you're using present continuous, past continuous, a continuous verb tense, but it's always followed by an infinitive. Let's move on. Okay. What's the next one? Avoid, evitar. How do you use avoid? I play by ear. <laughs> yeah. I play by ear. I don't have any idea. I just say, <laughs> I know that it sounds right or not. Yeah, that usually helps if you make mm. a sentence in your head and you say it in your head or say it aloud. If it sounds right, correct, but it probably, you need a lot probably of is. Before you can do that, you must be several years listening to English. That's why it's so important to listen to English yeah. because this is a way to correct your mistakes because you, you can compare your listening with what you're reading. And, and But it doesn't happen in a few months. It can take years before you do that. And so I avoid meeting. Oh, there's one. I avoided. Uh, uh, Graciela. Okay, Graciela. Avoid, avoid doing something. Okay, Correct. that's good. Very yeah. good. So that, that is the structure. Graciela gives us the structure. Then... You can put any verb instead of doing, no? Yeah. So traveling or meeting or eating junk food, says uh, Rocio Bender. Uh, eating, avoided meeting us. Uh, Osvaldo, avoid eating spicy food. Avoid eating oats. <laughs> well, you can avoid eating many things. Uh, <laughs> and, and great, I, I, avoid, you... I avoid eating healthy food. <laughs> I avoid eating salads, anything green, vegetables. You don't like it too much, probably. No, I avoid it. I avoid eating <laughs> anything you're that not, you're not attracted to it. No, you're not attracted to it. I, 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 no, I have to. I do eat healthy food, but yeah. um, I, I do. It. Sometimes I do avoid eating it. Yeah. I avoid drinking some mm, some drinks like uh, Coke, for example. You, do you um, avoid eating sugar? Mm, yeah. Anything I avoid eating. Well, I, I wanted to say drinking because everybody's saying eating. So another example would be with drinking. Uh, I avoid driving. For example, I don't like to drive. So whenever we do a long trip with my husband, he drives more most of the time. So I avoid driving if it is a long way where you have to you don't know the road usually mm -hmm. i try to avoid um driving and if if it is th there's no other option i i will drive <laughs> but if i can avoid it i, I just... avoid i avoid driving in big cities i don't like driving in oh, traffic because you're not used to I avoid driving in traffic. In Madrid, yeah. for example, in Madrid is quite difficult to drive. No, yeah. I, I don't. I in Madrid, I don't avoid driving because I have to. But if it is a long trip where I don't know the roads, for me, the, the worst is not knowing the road. But if you but, need to go into the center of Madrid, you don't drive, but, right? You you take I public drive, transport. Yeah. You do drive, drive. Yes. Okay. Because I I live in the outskirts, so for me to take public uh, transport is like two hours or three it's hours too to get far. There. It's too far yeah. away. So I do drive, and I do I do get into the center, yes, because I've been trained already many years. You have to get used to it because it's. it's it's not easy, but I can do it because I know the places, I know the parkings, I know the, yeah. the traffic. More or less, I'm used to it because I drove for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So I don't avoid it, but I, I avoid driving for a long time, like during this period of time that is too, I don't like it in general. I avoid driving at night, good Louisiana. Driving at night also, I don't like it because I don't see too very well. Um, meetings, I avoid meeting, well, avoid meetings in this case is a noun. Mm? Yeah, you got meeting yeah. as a noun. Avoid, yeah. meet, avoid meeting people, you yeah. could say. 
Yeah, I avoid meeting people. It will be a verb. But if it is a noun, of course, you can put any noun there. Yeah, a noun is a noun. There's no yeah, gerund yeah, infinitive with nouns, no. so there's no problem. An no. example we have for you on the screen, she avoided looking me in the eye. So avoided mm -hmm. plus looking, which is a gerund. Mm -hmm. There's an example. Okay. Next one. Next consider. one, consider. Hmm. My feeling, I'm going to say it's me. Um, yeah, correct. Considerar in Spanish? Yes, considerar. Um, that one, Spanish is completely different, I think. Uh, considerar. Uh, ah. So with considerar, you need a que all the time. You need that. You cannot say considerar. And then another and verb. verb. No. That's why I think this is a difficult area mm. for Spanish speakers because yeah. you don't have this problem, do you, with ver with gerund infinitive no, after a verb? but we have other problems, just as yeah. difficult, you know. <laughs> for example, certain verbs in Spanish are very difficult to conjugate. So what do you think about like consider? Caleb. Any, consider, any ideas? Nobody has answered anything. I can uh, Norma. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, Norma, no, think no, again. No. Think again. Okay. Think again. Hector. Okay, Hector, you made it. Yep. yep. I consider eating more healthy food healthier, you can also say, and do more exercise. So, so. consider means to think about. It's something mm -hmm. you're thinking about. Yeah, I'm and in Spanish is exactly the same meaning. It's very, yes, Graciela is ING. Well, mm -hmm. well done, Graciela. That's correct. Mm -hmm. are, you are you considering anything at the moment? I'm considering buying a new bicycle or buying oh. a bicycle. I don't have an old one, but I'm considering yeah. buying a bicycle. Uh, yeah. and because you want to go biking, cycling around the, all along the coast? <laughs> I yeah. used to have a bicycle for many years and it was stolen from oh. a, a locked garage that I used to pay every month to keep the bicycle. And I don't have any garage space, so it needs to be a folding bicycle. Oh, yeah. There are many so now keep new it. designs. They're very, very popular. So partly like yeah. to do some exercise, to, to get outside in, in the fresh air and enjoy cycling and because of COVID as well. So I don't use public transport so much. So it's healthier, yeah, as Jesus says. Uh, he says, I consider taking the bus. No. Good, very good. The bus instead of the train. Um, have you ever considered living abroad, Graciela? Yes. Well done. It's healthier, okay. Could you consider doing something? Yeah. Maybe. We consider going to the beach this summer despite the pandemic. You probably use that in the past or at least present perfect. You'd say we considered during the mm -hmm. summer... The summer's yeah. passed now. Is it past? Very autumn? Yeah. yeah. Summer's yeah. passed. Summer's so you'd need past simple. We considered going to the beach this summer, or we have been considering going to the beach, if it's present perfect continuous. Uh, I I have been considering buying a scooter. <laughs> now they're very... Really? No, it's not too bad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I was just walking down here from, from where I live to the village. It's like three kilometers. And there's a guy I always see. I know him because I've seen him at the gym when I, I used to go to the gym. And he always goes with a scooter, but an electric a, a, a scooter. And it's like quite, an e-scooter, e the narrow yeah, one. Yeah, it's the narrow, yeah. And, and also, he he's more or less my age. And I thought, oh, this guy, he goes so fast. <laughs> like, like, well, there's not too much traffic. I don't think it's, it's unsafe, no? But you have to be a little bit careful. But there's so, no exercising with that because you just stand on it and it oh, goes. No, no, no. There's That's no the exercise. exercise. It's to save energy because you yeah. don't go by car. Or he used to have a motorbike, I remember. This guy used to have a motorbike. And maybe he thought it's, it's cheaper to have the scooter and just go very fast. <laughs> And of course, in Madrid, you see that in many cities now you see this, no, that everybody with a scooter. But I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like getting a scooter because I think it's fun, like when you were a kid. Yeah, um, it looks it looks fun, but I'm really looking at something for exercise. That's the thing. Yeah, that's very different. Some weight. Yeah, but yeah, it does look fun. I, I'd like to have one maybe when I've lost some weight. Midiam says um, summer hasn't arrived yet, so I'm guessing... You are in the southern hemisphere, Miriam. Maybe 
you're in Argentina or Chile, mm -hmm. and I can't remember where you're from, but if you're in the middle or, or the end of winter, then you have your summer coming, which you're very lucky. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have. They started with the summer. If we could, no, or is it summer or is it spring? I think it's spring. The in the in South America is now mm -hmm. spring. So if we have autumn, they Correct. have spring, not exactly. summer. Exactly. So uh, Men mention. Mention. We have a new word. Mention. Don't mention it. What do you think about um, mention? Mention. Mention is to say something. If you mention mm -hmm. something, you say it. But is that with a gerund or an infinitive? Okay. She mentioned, for example. Mm -hmm. Is it an infinitive verb or a gerund? Let's see what you think. We have another example with considered. I considered starting learning other languages. Very good, Paula. That's correct. Yeah, so Miriam says it's spring. So where are you, Miriam, if you're... Miriam is Argentina. Yeah. Argentina, yeah. okay. Yeah, she says Argentina. And it's spring yeah. now, she said, you see what I said? So we're yes. the, we have a completely opposite way. Sometimes I'm, when I am in the summer on Facebook, I, I, I'm very, I'm bragging, no? Say, look, I'm in the summer. <laughs> but then when it starts to be winter and I see everybody from South America enjoying the beaches and all that, I say, now I'm jealous. Can you write an example for us, Miriam? Mention, yeah, mention goes with Gerald, Miriam, not with infinitive, no? But you need to, like yeah, we want an example with the Gerald, though, Miriam. With, not the mention, with the word mention, so only one person said it. Uh, there was one person that said mention, no? Or no, I'm... Ah, she yes, mentioned Hector. having Yes, Hector, Hector's got it. Instagram. She mentioned having Instagram this yeah, week, very good. Hmm? Well done, having Hector. Inst having Instagram this week. Hector's and, uh, on fire today. He's on yes, fire. Fire. Mention plus, yeah, ING. She mentioned seeing my brother at a baseball game. She mentioned seeing my brother at a baseball game. Uh, um, you mentioned working. <laughs> Jesus is in a very romantic, romantic mood. Jesus, did I mention loving her? Oh, that's <laughs> the, the, uh, the, yeah, that's a question. Did I mention making love to her? You could say. Yeah. The president the, mentioned the consequences mm. of the pandemic. No, the but pandemic. that's the noun, Martha. That's not a preposition and a and a noun. Yeah. Noun is consequences. It's not a verb. We we mean. You need to think of a verb that goes after. And Martha, that, that sentence is correct, but not with no, the preposition no, yeah. about. What we're asking, no? So you remove so, the Mencionar remove. verbo. Mencionar, mencionar, eh, decir, mencionar, comer, mencionar, lo que sea. I mentioned having been in Paris once. Mm -hmm. Good, Miriam. That's good, yeah, Miriam. Yeah, right. that's good. Yeah. Uh, next one I mentioned yeah. yesterday. No, again, uh, Mariluz mentioned it's okay, but well, yesterday we'll go at the very end. But what we want is a verb, not a sentence. I think Mar Martha's confused. Martha, mm -hmm. you, your sentence is almost correct. The problem with your sentence is about. So your sentence no, would uh, be. One, right. one second, Monica. So your sentence would be correct if you said the president mentioned the consequences of the pandemic. No. Not pandemia, pandemic. That's a correct sentence. But the point of this exercise this evening mm -hmm. is to practice what happens if you put a second verb after mention, not a mm -hmm. noun, another verb. So when you have two verbs together, then you need to decide is that second verb a gerund or an infinitive? For example, Paula says they mentioned preparing the meal. Uh, was really <laughs> complicated. Cool, right? So there, there's two verbs, mention and prepare together. Second verb is a gerund. Yeah, that's correct. They mentioned preparing the meal. Uh, I mentioned doing it today. Mm -hmm. Normal, it's okay. Okay. Let's go to so, one more. The next yeah. one, recommend. recommend. Oh, the recommend is, is like suggest. 
not very easy because uh, I think in this verb, um, because of the influence of speaking English as a second language, even native speakers now say it in the way that the most um, European languages use for this structure. Mm -hmm. uh, te recomiendo que, uh, te recomiendo um, hacer. So, let me see. Uh, te recomiendo, te recomiendo. It's, there are two ways of using it, no? We will see it when you when we give the answer. So, recommend can does it go with an infinitive if you put a verb or is it a gerund? Mm, what do you think? Okay, let's see if there are some answers. Re recommend mm, yes, Miriam. So now, Miriam, can you write an example? Okay, an example. Uh, that Norma, this is what I wanted to say. That is. Sometimes you hear it even. I recommend you to study. That is in Spanish, actually. I recommend that or recommend studying. No? Yeah. You use that, that you study. We recommend studying English every day. So it's gerund. Yeah. Gerund. No, we don't say I recommend to study like in Spanish. No. Nope. Recomiendo estudiar. No? Es recomiendo, es como si dijeras, recomiendo estudiando, ¿no? And that's why it's, it's a strange structure, because we use it a lot. I recommend, and suggest has the same problem. The, the verb suggest is similar problem. Recommend, then, then Miriam, recommend leaving the city. Um, I, she recommend, no, you recommended that, you could say you recommended that I left the city. Yeah. But that yep. is not mm, that is not the structure that we're looking for because it's it's not. But Miriam's Miriam's yeah. uh, sentence is yeah. correct. You can say you recommended me to leave the city. The difference, Miriam, is you have the pronoun me yeah, the pronoun. in the middle but, in the center. So when you have the pronoun in the center, yes, you can use. The infinitive. I wrote a post about this and I'm going to confront Craig about this because I had a British teacher writing about this and then for uh -huh. him the structure was completely unfamiliar. I really? Think, yes. Okay. I think that this is an influence from um, from the European languages. Possibly. It me. It looks yes. okay to me. Yeah, because, it's it's, because so many people say it that and he somehow said british huh? i'm not saying american uh -huh. british and he's a very good teacher and he said to me this sounds completely unfamiliar and i asked my uncle i don't know somebody who was in england because he wasn't and and he said well they, they they were very doubtful about this expression that's why i think it's an influence there are many words that at the end get the influence of other European languages. One example, for example, is recuperar una clase. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you ask a teacher, even a native teacher, oh, tengo que recuperar. And they say, I have to recover this class. No, How that's, def that's, definitely, that's definitely wrong. Wrong. But many people say it. Yeah. Why? Because it is used in other languages. No, That's an example. Okay, I, I don't know. Huh? It's just that one time I wrote a post about this and recommended me. He said that was not he he wasn't used to it. Okay, and well it is too. We'll we'll leave that one then, but yeah, we'll definitely but say that. I mean, yes, uh, recommend doing. Recommend. Uh, no, no. When I it's two verbs together, it's definitely a gerund. Yes, that's what I. Uh, I For recommend example, that. I recommend say, calling a plumber. This good, very good example. I recommend having all your lunch. Uh, eating, oh, eating having, all your lunch. Yeah. Eating your vegetables. Uh, uh, without the object, uh, Miriam is asking. Yes. Uh, 
I recommend drinking we drinking weather or drinking water, Celeste. <laughs> yes, it's drinking. Maybe no, maybe no, drinking no. water in hot weather. That's <laughs> yeah. No, the thing is auto correction. Probably if you do it with the phone and and you put the wrong letter, sometimes it happens to me that you write a word and then it changes automatically if you have this. No, Hector, you must use the gerund. So, Hector, no. that sentence will be, they recommended staying, staying at home, home yes. all these months. Yes. They recommend wearing a mask. They recommend keeping social distance. They recommend only traveling um, when it's... Yeah. I, rec I recommend watching Emma. I recommend watching Emma? Mm, this is Rocio. Well, we passed it. We didn't. Yeah, there. I recommend watching. Emma. Oh, on you yeah. on YouTube, Rocio. Yeah. yeah, she's very yeah. good. Emma. Yeah, yeah, I like Emma. She's um, yeah. she's got a really good YouTube tra channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is Arisgar. Risk. Risk. I am afraid. Well, I'm not going to say anything. What? You think, uh, yeah. this is, you think this is a risky one? No, not very risky. Hmm. Very similar to this one. Mm, do you like to take risk or are you risk adverse? It depends. Uh, I take fewer risks now than when I was younger. But um, sometimes I like to take risks, take risks. I mean, you have to live a bit dangerously sometimes i think yeah of course if you don't do uh right. paul is asking they recommend pronoun well yeah craig yes said yes and we're going to take it right i like, I, I say i say yes oh, yes okay but um we're not 100 percent sure yeah but i think it's okay okay um any risk i uh i risk talking with those uh, strangers, strange people, or well, strangers. Yeah, you, you can say that. Yep, that's good, Hector. Well done, that's correct. Yeah. She risked going to that party, Miriam. Well done, that's correct. Yep, to risk doing something, Graciela. It's Absolutely a gerund. Correct, yes. it's a gerund. Yeah. So here's another example. Don't risk losing your job. Keep it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, there we have been having lots of verbs that are followed by gerund. So they, they were all followed by gerund. Recommend, risk, and the one before. Let me check that I don't remember anymore. Mention want, also. Want, want was followed consider, by anything. Consider, avoid, the only hope. And, and want. want, yeah. Only okay, well, so if if you want to guess, probably you are going to be right. Is if you use the gerund rather than an infinitive, right? Because okay, let's see. let's see. Yes. What you think about this. I already mentioned this one. You yeah. See you if can you can remember. Suggest so interesting examples. Says Jesus, and uh, I risk. Tasty new flavors during the meal. Oh. I risk tasting. It's okay. It's correct. But now we want suggest. Suggest what? Suggest an infinitive or suggest a gerund? Suggest doing. Graciela says it. Well done, Graciela. Yeah. Yes. The same as recommend. It's the same structure. It's very, very exactly. good. ING. Yeah. So what's the example? So the example is? Leaving. They suggested leaving the building. Good. Medium. Good example. We suggest visiting blogdeadingles.com. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I suggest, suggest visiting English podcast and mention the English. <laughs> so I've just I've just been checking while you were speaking, Monica. I've just been checking on Grammarly.com. And Grammarly.com say that you can have both the pronoun after recommend. 
So the plumber recommended buying or the plumber recommended me to buy a new water heater. Both of those Grammarly says are correct. Okay. But we know that grammar books sometimes say different things. So, But it's probably, you know, what I thought when he gave me this answer, mm -hmm. I thought it's regional. Possibly, yeah, sometimes it could be regional. That, and I'll mention one thing that is very regional that at the beginning I was very confused with. Mm -hmm. And the expression, uh, because uh, um, many people make the mistake of saying, um, was, uh, I haven't, for example, they say, uh, what is the mistake they make? Oh, oh I forgot, but I'm oh. going to remember. Let me that. know, let me know if you think of it. There's one thing that is regional, that is very regional, and some people say it. Uh, and also, many times I've seen conflicting opinions in different grammar books. You yes. open a grammar book, it says one thing. You open another grammar book, it says another thing. So um, maybe that's one case. Uh, I know. I have okay. a car, for example. I haven't a car. And I said, always, oh, that's incorrect. I haven't got a car. Well, it's not but. incorrect in, a, in, a, in American <laughs> English. No, they say, I don't have a car. No, I haven't without the car. I never heard mm. that. Right? I haven't the slightest idea. That is possible. But to say I haven't a car is very oh. uncommon. For possession in American English? Yeah. I never heard this. I never okay. heard this. I, do you, I thought it was British. British English would say I haven't got. Yes, but in some regions, I, I, there was someone, and also I had the same kind of debate for a long time with the post. Because of this, because uh -huh. people say I haven't a card, and I said no, that's wrong. I haven't got, or I don't have. Uh -huh. I never heard it. I haven't a card, and then there was somebody who said I haven't the slightest idea, and I thought, oh, that's possible, that's true, but it's not with every object that you can say that. And then mm. I thought it's regional. I it haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. Oh, I haven't a clue, but that's a made sentence. It's made up already, but. Probably is regional, so there are areas where you say these things, and are other areas that you never say that. Like in Spanish, also is the same. Mm. It sounds weird to me. Sometimes I hear expressions that I say, I would never say that. But we've got okay. some examples. They yes. suggest suggested the leaving the building. The, the the pronoun here again, like recommend. Um, yeah. Mm, I, I, I this is the same as recommend. I suggest no, nah, they suggested just they suggest that no, it with suggest it doesn't work. I would say that's not correct. With recommend, you, you can mean, have the pronoun, but with yeah. suggest, you can't. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you could say, Miriam, they suggested leaving the building, <laughs> or they suggested that we leave Le the yeah. building. Yeah. Is with that, you know, if you put that, you're not going to have any problem. And any of them recommend. The policeman suggested putting their mask on. Excellent, Jesus. 100% correct. Let's see what Hector says. I suggested having or buying a new car. Yeah, yeah. I suggested buying a new car would be better. Mm, um, they suggested. No. no. No, no pronoun, no pronoun, yeah. Paula, up with suggest. They, so they suggested, suggested stopping stop. smoking Sorry. or they suggested that they stop oh, yeah, smoking. Mm -hmm. Eva, Martha, the doctor suggested. No, suggested doing, no pronoun. The, the doctor suggested doing exercise. exercise. Yeah. Or that oh. I do exercise. Mm -hmm. Hello, Gemma. Gemma just Hello, Gemma. Here. You're late today. What happened? Have an yeah. early dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. So, Gemma, we're looking at gerunds, infinitives, and you need to write a sentence with the verb you see. So, the next verb after suggest is um, deserve. What's deserve in Spanish? Merecer. Yeah. Oh, you don't deserve to have that T-shirt. Oh, you've just given the answer. You've <laughs> given the answer. 
<laughs> I don't think anything. Maybe they didn't pay attention to so, it. As Monica correctly said, it's followed by an infinitive. Everyone deserves to be respected. <laughs> You're not very good at quizzes, are no. you? <laughs> I was even Tell everybody the answer. But they okay. didn't even know this. <laughs> okay. So after deserve you need an infinitive but you can also now write some examples yeah, so of yeah, your own sure just to practice in the chat room okay As Greta Greta says good. deserve to do something yeah that's that's a that's yeah. a, a good example father, well have more examples my father suggested me playing suggested that i play the piano the piano um love, love this english class thank you norma he suggested building a home and Jordi has a question here. Jordi, what do you say? I got a question for you. Which is the correct form? It makes me think about. Yeah, well, that's correct. And why do we use make with an S if the first pronoun I doesn't need an S at the end? Well, it's the it, which is to third persona, that makes you think. Exactly. So maybe it's the, the maybe it's the weather. Though the weather is a third person, it's it. The weather makes me think about whether or not to go to the beach. So it's the it, which is to third persona, that puts the S on the verb. It's not the first pronoun. It's not I. I think he, he uses I. No. In this case, it's it. It's a thing, not a person. It makes me wonder... Good yeah. song by Led Zeppelin. It makes me wonder if, a situation, for example, a thing. No way to have not it. I. The thing makes me wonder. Yes, Eric, you don't deserve to have that T-shirt. Very, very <laughs> good. <laughs> Where did you get that example from? That's brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> what, what an example. And from Mali Luth, Nick deserves to win the competition. Also correct. Well done, Mali Luth. And um, you deserve to win the race, yeah. So obviously you know that deserve because is followed by infinitive. There was a whistleblower here. There, we've got a whistleblower in the room. <laughs> whistleblower, a whistleblower is un, um, how do you say in Spanish? Um, I have no idea. Mm, I forgot. Sometimes I forget the words in Spanish. The whistle, una, una delatora, whistle. Well, somebody is going to say. Okay, next verb, expect. What do you think about expect? I'm not going to say anything because I'm going to blow it. You're going to blow the whistle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to we're going to start going a bit a bit quicker with these verbs yeah, because we only had um, ten minutes and we've got some tips chivato, for you at the end. Chivato, una chivata. A whistleblower is a chivata. That's what I am. Chivata. So it means that it, it, it is the same as whistleblower. A chivato is really like a, like a whistle. No? Thank you, Hector. Goodbye. Nice to have you with us. Remember, advice is uncountable. So yeah. our I advice, no advice, S, yeah. our advice. But thanks for being here. See you next week. Yeah, okay. Um, Expect to do oh. something, Graciela. Okay. I expect, expect to pass, to pass my exam. Good. Yeah, correct. I expect to pass my exam. Yes, because we are using it instead of it. Ah, no. Refers to thing. So again, this word expect, very similar to hope we had before, and words like intend and plan. It has a future meaning in its um, mm. use. So if things go to the future then they very often have the infinitive. If you expect to do something, it's probably in the future. So infinitive. So it is with an infinitive, but in the case of Lorena, she puts better, which is really an adjective. So it's not what we're looking for. No, I expect better from you, but it's uh, not a verb. Uh, no, you need two verbs together. Let's move on to the next one, which is learn. 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 Uh, not going to say anything. I expect to. Learn. I expect to rain. Well, this is a little. Um, I expect to have rain or <laughs> something like that. 
but I expect to rain because you don't rain yourself no. uh, to have rain. I expect to speak English someday. I think you're, well, I don't know about your speaking, but your writing's very good, Martha. So you're, yeah. Yeah, you're that's correct. probably speaking English now. I expect to visit England one day, says Christy. Thank you, Jesus. I love the accent. Yes, he has a nice accent. Yeah, Graciela says, learn to do something. Very good. Um, and that's correct. Uh, Gemma, remember, the pandemic is a noun. So, uh, For example, I've learned not to trust anyone. Oh, learn, with learn. Okay. Then learn is with infinitive. And here you have the negative with not, not, not to do something. I've learned to work very hard. I've learned to play a guitar. I've learned to do my homework on time. I am, I've learned to be on time. <laughs> oh, anything similar. Okay, uh, deny is the next one. Deny, negar. Okay, is it a gerund? Is it an infinitive? Who is the first one to answer? 50-50. Um, we're going faster because we... we we want to cover lots of things, no? And we have some tips for you at the end. Don't yeah, we have five yeah. more verbs and some yeah, tips and, after and deny. Two. Yeah. So we're going so, to go quite quickly. Yeah. Deny doing very good. Yes. Quickly. Very good, Graciela. She's first. Yes. I denied breaking the coffee machine. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I denied doing it. I denied yeah. stealing the money. I denied breaking the window, etc. Next one, offer. Offer. Hmm. Offer fair? To offer. I won't say anything because I might. <laughs> <laughs> don't blow the whistle. I, I am a, I'm a little bit afraid of speaking because whenever I speak, I blow it. <laughs> Chantal, can you give us an example? Can you write an example in the chat room? Offer in the chat box. Something. Graciela. Constance, deny us. No, denied us. Um, past tense, uh, Luis. Luis, Luis, I would say customs denied delivering my Deliver. package. Graciela. So you have the two verbs together will be deny and deliver, and the second verb, gerund. So they denied, past tense, delivering. They denied delivering the passage, the, the package, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Eric offered to, offered to help, correct, Rocio. She yep. offered to help. Which uh, is the example we have because I offered, Monica, Monica last week offered to help me with, with some software I was having problems with. So she generously offered to help me. So you offer to do something. I thought that was a lie. She said, oh, he, I read that and I thought, oh, this." No, I had problem. I was asking you about Camtasia, and you said if you want, I can help oh, you. So you yeah. offered to help me yeah, to correct. to use the software. Mm -hmm. Well, Martha again, mansion is a noun, not a verb. He offered a mansion. <laughs> At mansion. But, no. I At offered. Mansion, no. mansion. I offered to write an exercise. I offered to help you. I offered to. No. Show you it's the infinitive, correct answer. A verb. He offered to buy a man. That's okay, Martha. That's correct. Yes. He Perfect, Catty. Perfect. Can I offer you something to drink? Very good. Very Excellent good. sentence. To drink. Let's put that up. Yep. Something yes. to drink. Okay. And after offer, we have another verb, which now this is, I've mentioned before, it's also a verb that is usually used with reference to the future. So do you remember if it's gerund or infinitive? When we're referencing something in the future, like intend or hope or expect, who can write the first correct sentence? Very yeah, good, Graciela. He offered oh. to clean my house. Very lucky, yes. aren't you? Um, I, I, was, I wish he. I wish he'd offer to clean my house. <laughs> Not very easy to do that. Not very easy to get that. 
plan, I can say, I, the only thing I can say before I blow it is <laughs> the plan is, it can be translated as pensar also in Spanish because we do it, we use it like that. So estoy pensando en lugar de estoy planificando because it sounds very strange in Spanish to say estoy planificando ver. Yeah. So I'm planning, estoy pensando ver. I have new plans for the coming year. Okay. I'm planning to move. So it's infinitive. Hmm? Yep, it's infinitive. I'm planning to watch a film yes. after this yes. Facebook Live, for example. It's planning, entonces, correct. Planning to travel. I plan to study piano. Rocio, very good. Eric says plan to. So We're planning to go on a trip. Yep, very good. You plan to do whatever. Excellent. Well done. Uh, Okay, I mean, promise is the next one. I won't open my mouth. I was about to make a mistake again. I'm You're going I, to blow uh, the whistle. Let the cat out of the bag. Yes, don't let the cat out of the bag. That's very graphic, you know, because when the cats get out of bags, you have you're in trouble. Uh, okay. Paula's planning to have a pet, dog mm -hmm. or a cat, Paula. Please tell me it's a dog and not a cat. Catty is planning to uh, go on a long vacation. Promise to do something. Correct, mm -hmm, correct. Rafaela. Well I done. To be good. Chantal is correct. Yeah. Promise. I promise to be good. I promise to be in within this frame of the screen because I'm all the time going inside. <laughs> Look, I'm always out. She promised not to be late again, Rocio. Uh, Very I good. This. I promise don't. I, no, I promise I won't lie again. But in this case, it's an, a model verb, and this has a different structure. We just need another verb, and it's not not a pronoun. If you put a pronoun, then it's a different structure. Paula's so, planning to get a dog. Well done, Paula. I'm planning to pass my exams. Okay. Oh, you don't like cats? You're a, you're a dog lover, not a cat. I'm person. I'm a dog person. I'm afraid, yeah. not, uh, not a cat I'm person. I'm a dog and a cat, cat person. person. Both. Wait. Two more verbs. Uh, wait and one more. So is wait followed by a gerund or an infinitive? Any volunteers? To write a sentence? Wait. You can say wait a minute, but minute is a noun. What happens when you put a verb after wait? Chrissy promises to study English more. Very good. English grammar. Very good. Well wait, uh, well, wait for, that's the correct preposition, Eric, but for is not a verb, is it? It's a preposition. Put another verb after wait. Mm -hmm. not, a, not a noun, because waiting for the bus is a noun, not a verb. I'm waiting, or I can't wait. Mm, no, Martha is not correct. No, nope. the other one. Wait. Let me let me give you exa an example. I can't wait to, to start, start traveling again. Tengo muchas ganas. I can't wait to, to do it. To do or it. I'm waiting to have dinner. I'm waiting to leave the house. I'm waiting to get a phone call. So it's wait plus infinitive. Okay, the last verb is seem. Which is parecer, is it? Yes, parecer. No, Chantelle, it will be I can't wait to see you. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you, <laughs> or I can't wait to see you. I can't mm -hmm. wait to go to Paris. I can't wait to have a holiday. I can't wait to pass the exam. Yes, Rochi. He can't wait to go out of the office. Yeah, that's fine. It seems to be raining again. That's correct. No, it's not correct. It seems to be rain again. 
No, raining. I said I corrected. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, well, I corrected this. You sentence. corrected it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's correct if you say it seems to be raining again. It's an infinitive, but you need to put raining in a gerund hmm? because it's to be raining. Start, in Spanish is the same. Start lloviendo. Are you talking to me, Chantel, or to Monica when you say you seem to be happy? <laughs> No, I think. Or is it you both seem to be happy? Yeah, you, you both seem to be happy. Uh, seem I seem I seem to be hungry. That is true, Paolo. I haven't had my dinner yet, so I I am hungry. I don't seem to be. I am. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> both. Oh, okay. Both. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm happy. Seems to. We and seem you to. seem to be learning a lot about Jaren's infinitives, which is yeah. really good. You see, it's just by practicing. If you use it like in a quiz, you will always remember it, right? Yeah. So, so we, we seem to be at the end of uh, the Facebook Live, almost, almost, almost. But we have one or two tips. So these verbs you have to learn, these verbs that we've um, practiced with you today, you just have to learn. So I suggest that you go to Monica's blog in a few days where she will write a very detailed and professional blog post explaining these verbs and you can see her website at the bottom of the screen blog .com, and learn these words that we've been practicing however when there's a preposition always use a gerund that's something that i don't think there are any exceptions for no so i think and after every preposition Make sure you use a gerund. And here's an example. I'm interested in creating podcasts, for example. Um, I'm waiting uh, for... No, you have to have a noun with that, don't you? Can you think of another example, Monica, no, with the many preposition? Examples. I'm thinking of going there. I'm looking forward uh, to seeing you. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, because they are looking forward to to as a preposition really in that mm -hmm. example uh, uh, it depends on doing that on is a preposition it depends on looking at the you know information. i'm crazy i'm crazy about studying english for I'm example crazy about studying english i uh, any preposition always remember this rule because most people forget it and they make yep. a mistake Many, many cases I've seen this. They don't think about the gerund. Um, always gerund after preposition, after, behind, before, all these preposition, with, without. Okay, that's one tip for you. Another thing to remember, mm -hmm. most adjectives um, for, followed by infinitives. For example, it's difficult to speak Spanish. It's easy to learn to dance, for example. It's lovely to see you again. So after an adjective, usually it's an infinitive. That's a pretty safe guide for you. And how lovely to see you again is a common expression. So here's your adjective, lovely, and then your infinitive, to see. And finally... Another useful tip, gerunds can be used as a subject of a sentence. So learning English can be fun, the present participle. Or another example, jogging is good for your health. Smoking is bad for you. So I, when I'm it's... just going to give that example. <laughs> the, the smoking is forbidden, but it's... Um, it's it's a very common example this one because it's very much uh, used you know smoking is forbidden almost everywhere so you use that as a subject right smoking yep. is like an infinitive in Spanish it would be an infinitive of the verb fumar está prohibido or correr es bueno para tu salud no it would mm -hmm. be infinitive but in English in many cases it's a gerund like Craig is saying. And that you have to take into account that sometimes these ing forms are not really gerunds, are, are, are just a form as, as like an infinitive or subject. Yeah, present participle. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Graciela says we all seem to enjoy this video, or you'd probably use that in present continuous. So you'd still use an infinitive, Graciela. You could say we all seem to be enjoying this mm. video, but to be is your infinitive, to be enjoying. Jesus, I uh, seem like an older person. No, I, I would say I look like an older person, but not you seem. You seem to be. Uh, no. Yeah. You seem, like, you you seem, seem to, to you seem to be tired. Yeah. You seem to be tired. Yes, also. In my case. It seems to be funny. Correct, Norma. And Lorena, it seems that I'm wrong, or I seem to be wrong. Mm -hmm. I seem to be wrong. So again, the infinitive after seem. Yes, Paula, you've got it. Yes, always, Darren. I don't, repeat make, that don't, again. Don't, make, don't make that a question. Make that a post-it note and put it on your fridge yes. tonight. Yes. After prepositions, always a gerund. That's because it's true. <laughs> a rule to follow. That's it, no? Yes. Shall yeah, we stop there? Yeah. Thank well, you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Before we go, just to remind you, um, I am Craig, and if you would like to go to mansioningles.com, you'll find free material and courses that will help you improve your English. And likewise, englishpodcast.com is a weekly podcast that you can download on your phone for free using the podcast app of your choice. And Monica? Mm, I am Monica, and I would like to remind you to go to Blog Ten English and Blog Para Aprender Inglés, and you will find lots of material for uh, learning English in Spanish with explanations. When you cannot, uh, when you don't understand something, um, it's a good idea to check Blog Para Aprender Inglés or Blog del Inglés. Okay, thank you very much for coming. It's thank you for being here. Time. Yeah having you here uh, and, and I'll be back next week too because Lynn is not coming and so I'll be back and maybe we'll do this in on YouTube we are planning some changes yes I so please watch um, Monica's Twitter feed my Twitter yeah. feed Monica's yeah. Facebook page the mentioning yeah. Glares the Facebook page watch those very carefully for next week because we may be changing just for one week to try right. YouTube a new so You'll find the link in the social media posts. Social media um, we time. hope to see you back next week again okay. at the same time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.